Welcome back to Taival Outdoors. My name is Joel and this video is a bit of a public service announcement about this Polish company called Baribal. They make these awesome customizable molly pouches that also happen to be quite affordable for what they are. Um, let's kick this off by going through a bit of a background why I went with Baribal for my rucksacks, side pouches, how you can order yours and what kind of customizable options and features they do have and what's the price point that you can expect when ordering something like this for yourself. It's probably less than you would think. Finally, I will also show how to attach any type of molly pouch to Everly stock, Little Big Top or any other rucksack that has only one row of webbing on the side while still making the connection super secure. So stay tuned for that. So while I give you guys a close-up on these pouches, I will also tell you a bit of a background story on how I stumbled upon this company. So roughly 11 months ago, Barusteleka started reselling Baribal pouches. And at the time I was in the market for some type of a side pouch for the rucksack. I used to have Savotta's side pouches, but they were too big blocking the access to the bottom pouch that there is on many rucksacks. And they were also very expensive, so I ended up selling those and was looking for something else. And Baribal seemed very interesting because they were fairly affordable. And, you know, the general quality looked nice on the pictures, but there wasn't quite the type of pouch that I was looking for. And of course, Barustelica only had a handful of different items available. So I started looking into it and turns out that Baribal has their own website I had pre-measured my rucksack and kind of the space that I would like to have filled with a side pouch and I knew that it's going to be four by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven molly or pulse webbing uh, wide and tall. And four by seven is by no means a standard size. However, Baribal has pouches in any, any size imaginable. So fairly easy to find the right one. And then when I started adding it to the shopping cart, I realized that, wait, there's a ton of different things that can be customized. Most importantly for me was, of course, the how deep this pouch is. And then I have to say that their original kind of molly-like webbing system that these pouches should come with looked so flimsy in the pictures that I decided that, you know, don't send any type of um, that kind of fabric weave with these pouches, but instead keep it plain, keep this plain, no additional loops or anything anywhere that could snag into branches or something like that. Instead, I just ordered very basic pouch with a drainage hole, and then I ordered a couple of these plastic molly loops to attach it, and these are very good and sturdy and happy to invest some money into these because of course, these don't really deteriorate and, and can be used with any other pouch as well. Here's, for example, my big cook sign, the whole cook set inside of another pouch. I added a mesh pocket inside of it. And you can honestly get pockets here and here, have them zippered or mesh pockets or have pockets outside of your pouches and whatnot. So there's plenty of customization to go around, but I wanted to keep mine fairly simple and lightweight and, you know, no fuss just to have that kind of general purpose pouch on the rucksack was all that I was looking for. And here is the pouch flipped inside out. And as you can see, all the seams look quite nice, at least to my um, maybe untrained eyes. <laughs> no loose threads whatsoever. Everything looks as expected. And so far, after using these for a few months, a few longer trips as well, absolutely no wear and tear yet. Zippers work just fine. I like these pull tabs that they came with, you know, simple stuff, some cordage. That's all you really need. So I've been really happy with these ones. But next, let's look at the Baribal's website and how I ordered mine and how you can do the same. And let's see the price point as well. So this is Baribal's website. And as you can see in the top right corner, the language is in English, so we can make some sense of it. Uh, first things first, if you go to products and tactical tailoring, you are not looking for pouches or 
cargo pouches, but instead you need to click packs and kidney bags. And this is where you can actually find the basic Molly pouches. So my pouches were sized four by four. There's actually two pages of these things. So every imaginable option is here available. Let's see, there we go. Cargo pouch four by four. As you can see, there is no option of simply putting it into your shopping cart. You click customize product. And now this is where the fun stuff begins. Let me just zoom in for you a bit here. So first we have the color options and with color you of course also select the strength of the fabric. By default it's 1000D Cordura. I went with 500. There's no reason to have 1000D Cordura pouches unless you are purchasing it for some type of let's say military use or something like that. 500D Cordura is plenty strong and often stronger than commercial hiking backpacks. So it is also a good choice for my needs as well. And of course, being 500D, it's going to be a lot lighter and more flexible than the 1000D fabrics. So I picked 500D Ranger Green Cordura, Ranger Green Webbing as well. For mounting, I went without of mounting straps. And this is very interesting, pouch depth. Actually, I selected fat ones. Giga could have been maybe a better option for me. It looks funky when it's 4x4 <laughs> pouch and so thick. But for my use, Giga would have probably been better. I could have stuffed more food, for example, to the south pouch. But fat hasn't been a bad choice either. And as you can see, the price is changing now dynamically based on your selections. For front of the pouch, I went with low profile. There's no need to have anything additional uh, that could get caught on branches and whatever. For interior, now this is where you have to be a bit more careful because interior, there's front interior as well as back interior. So again, plenty of customization options. And I went with nothing as again, I want to keep it as simple as possible. And you have all the room that I can have inside there. For the back, again, I didn't add any additional things over there. But back interior, this is where I select flat mesh pockets, quite handy for flat items. So this could be your uh, cooking set uh, cover or spork or um, you know whatever you want to have there. Having that a bit of organizational capacity, I think it's a good thing. And this flat mesh pocket is the option that takes the least amount of space away from the pouch itself. So went with that one. For sides, again, I didn't add anything, but plenty of options here. And bottom, the eyelet under the drainage hole, as it's known, comes by default. So I have that there. And as you can see, you can have a full clamshell opening by just selecting this or, uh, you know, sideways clamshell hinge on the side as well. So again, a lot of options to choose from. This blast proof main zipper is something that's quite interesting. But the thing is that if it's really pouring down, then I will have a pack cover or poncho over the rucksack anyway. So I didn't see the need for this. And in case you don't know, the generally speaking, the thick Cordura fabrics are uh, waterproof or at least water resistant. So that's why the splash proof zippers might make sense if you're pouch is going to be exposed to the elements uh, more than it will be in, in my case. And here we have the final price for one pouch. And of course I had two of these. The pouches ended up costing roughly 20 euros each. Of course, that depends a bit on the daily exchange rate of the currency. And the shipping itself is roughly 10 10 and a half euros, so not much at all considering it is a you know international shipping. Of course, that makes the total roughly 50 euros. And more pouches you order, the less of an impact, of course, the shipping then will have to the end price. But 50 bucks for two custom pouches that are perfect for my needs. I, I think that's a fair deal considering a single pouch can sometimes cost 50, 60 or you know, even more. In, in euros, uh, depending on how tactical the company thinks they are, they want to charge you a lot of money for basic pouches. But 25 euros for pouch each, 
that's not a bad deal. And finally, as promised, I will show how I attach my pouches to this Everly stock little big top. And you can use the same principle with any other backpack that is similar in constructions that it has maybe only one row of attachment points and maybe some compression straps. As I mentioned before, I used to have big Savotta side pouches here, but they came so far down that accessing this pouch was becoming a bit too difficult, um, especially when the rucksack was packed absolutely full. So I went with something a bit smaller. Another thing to note here is that this rucksack used to have a grabbing handle on both sides, but it was one of the first things that I did when I got this backpack that I cut it away because it's absolutely useless and serves no purpose whatsoever. So here's the pouch empty. As you can see, it's four columns wide, such as this attachment point here. Comes roughly this far down, so you can still operate this compression strap and access the bottom pouch. So just the perfect size for this rucksack. And that's the beauty of getting custom stuff for yourself. Now there's probably opinions on which way around this should go, like this or like this, but this is how I do it and how I find it personally the easiest to do, so um, take it as you will. Now you might be wondering that, wait, these don't start all the way down here, but in all honesty they don't have to because of the limited attachment points that I have available here. First things first, of course, I would start the whole thing as usual, going over and under every other placement. But now I realize that I can actually use this compression strap as one of the attachment points as well. So I would first kind of try to see at which point does it land. I think it lands roughly around this webbing. So instead we could actually go under these two, like so. Then under the compression strap, yep, that seems about right. And then again, under this final strap and then attaching here, simple as that. This side where the buckle is, is actually a bit thicker due to the buckle. So weaving this under this final loop is not possible, but I did it on one side and then on this side, this is actually something that I can just push through and make sure that it clicks. This is now, instead of being attached to this one 10 millimeter webbing row, it's now attached in two points. And as you can see, it is not going anywhere. Sure, it makes now harder to use this compression strap in the sense that you cannot just unbuckle it, or at least it will be very hard to do that and rebuckle it. But I've pre-measured it so that it's, you know, already in kind of a good, shape and if I really really need to use this compression strap as well I did leave the end of this strap here so it can be pulled down just like that and there you have it it is now compressed so there you have it custom Molly pouches by Baribal from Poland. The color is a bit different from the main rucksack and actually it's less of a difference in person but camera for some reason always changes the color of Everly stock backpacks. I don't know why that is. But anyway, sit there like a glove, absolutely perfect size. And if I ever have more needs for Molly pouches, I will definitely check out what Baribal has to offer. <laughs> this was not sponsored by any means. It was just something that I feel like not a lot of people know that you can get these custom pouches from Baribal. So do check it out and let me know in the comments if you have ordered something like that for yourself. See you all in the next one.